what's up guys welcome back to another video and today i'm going to show you the fastest way to reach rebirth 14 from rebirth 0 in shadow Vis rpg so in this video i'm going to cover which npcs you should kill to level up the fastest and which build you should use in shadow Vis rpg so starting with uh rebirth zero you should be level zero right now what you're going to want to do is click this money symbol and you will see enter code so what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and search up uh shadow rpg codes and um it's going to give you a list of codes you can just go ahead and put those all in there you don't have to use the two times xp ones at this moment if you don't want to it will speed it up but it might be more useful to use later on while you're grinding. So you can also go ahead and claim this free gold. You can do this like every 20 hours or something. So uh, now that you've gotten all the codes, if you go to your inventory, you should have a party bazooka. So go ahead and equip that and follow where I'm going. Sorry, it, it should not be this big. My bad um anyway go ahead and follow where i'm going okay so once you're here you're gonna want to kill this poor villager until you are level 20. um you obviously wouldn't get nearly as much xp as i uh, as i just gained um i got that much because uh in this game there's actually these things around the map that you can find called qubits and they give you xp gain so it's gonna take a little bit but you're gonna want to kill this guy until you're level 20 ish i should say uh one more thing you would have gotten from the codes is a uh fledgling ringlet so uh you could go and have uh head and equip that you will have these wings on your back um you fly briefly so if you're like you know trying to get to a high place you could uh get up there way easier so uh now that you're level 20 you're going to want to follow where i go this is the second npc that you're going to be grinding now uh you're gonna see the serpent level 40 all the way down here and you're going to want to kill him until you are level 40. he also drops the serpent's fang you could take that if you want to it gives you some melee power speed and some armor shreds so you can go ahead and equip that if you wish um it's not too op but might be pretty useful for you guys early on all right, so the next NPC you're going to want to kill is the bunnies. Now, the only reason you want to kill this bunny, not for XP necessarily, but for the drop that it drops. It drops these big on uh, bunny ears. So you kill this, uh, you kill the bunny. These uh, giant bunny ears, they give you jump height and some speed. So pretty useful. And um, next thing you're going to want to do is follow me where you're going to be grinding. All right, so the next NPCs you want to grind are the Berserkers. I'm going to show you a method to farm these guys as fast as possible. So with all the stuff you have on, uh, this is all you, you should have at this point. Um, you're going to come to these three guys right here and just hold down left click and then come over here. You can basically, um, if you get close enough, for example, here, if you shoot, it'll like hit them all. And then you could go ahead and shoot and hit those guys. And basically you want to group them up and just uh, kill them while they're in a group. It's the fastest way to do this. And you're going to want to do this until you are level 100. Now, once you're level 100, you're going to be able to rebirth. Um, uh, right now, it says that, obviously, because I am way past level 100. But um, yeah, once you hit level 100, you're going to want to rebirth. 
and then you will start back at level one so essentially everything i told you to do to get from level zero to 100 you're going to want to do that again um until you reach level 100 since when you rebirth you obviously go back to level zero so do that all that npc grinding until you are level 100 again and then um follow where i go um follow where i go you're gonna see this castle bandit here And you're going to want to kill this guy until you get his weapon, which is the Crimson Blade. Okay, so now you should be level 100 or over, and you're going to want to go over to this portal area. That's the spawn. This is where all the rebirth portals are. And you're going to head to Mines of Stamog. Alright, once you're in here, you'll notice some NPCs over there. And you'll see this, like, little area in here. Um, there's also going to be a cubit about here. You can pick that up. If you find any cubits, definitely pick them up because they give you XP bonuses. So it makes grinding a lot easier. So go ahead to the cavern store and buy yourself an Oni shield. You should be able to afford it by now. If you can't, Try to get the Darkwing shield. Um, if you can't afford that still somehow, um, just save up for the Oni shield. You'll get it at some point. Um, you're going to be using the Oni shield a lot throughout Rebirths. Zero to six, I'd say. Okay, so um, next you're going to want to come over to this guy. You'll see the Stone Knight. You're going to want to kill this guy until you're level 200. Now, if you notice that killing with him, killing him with the sword is too difficult, you can go ahead and equip the party bazooka um, and try to kill him that way. So, once you're level 200, follow where I go. You're going to want to jump right down here. Now, you'll see a serpent, and you're going to notice, oh, it's level 2,000. That's going to be really hard to defeat at level 200. But trust me, it's not. Just stand back here and spam the bazooka. Now, once you defeat the serpent... He uh, drops the Charred Fang. The Charred Fang is something you're going to be using until really late game. Probably, like, you might even use it around, like, Rebirth 13, probably. It's really good. So you're going to want to uh, go ahead and equip that. All right, so next you're going to want to grind the Stone Knight. Uh, you could do this guy or this guy over here um until you are about level 450 all right so once you're level 450 go ahead and follow where i'm going okay so you're gonna see these golems of flames there's two of them and what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and equip your crimson blade and you're going to want to stand directly inside of him so that he doesn't hit you. And just farm farm him. Um, he can still hit you, so try to just n not get hit. Try to stay as close as possible to him. Um, and just farm him with your Crimson Blade. So this is what you're going to want to do. You're just going to swap between killing those two giants until you are level 1000. Now, once you're level 1000, you're going to want to uh, go ahead and rebirth again. So now you should be rebirth 2, and you're going to want to do everything I told you to do up until level 1000. So, once you're level 1000, follow where I go.
all right so once you're here you're gonna see this snake looking thing he's really easy to be he can like barely hit you his hitbox is horrible so just uh stand inside of him and you could kill him easily i don't know why i'm doing such little damage right now there we go i don't i don't know that must have been a glitch anyhow you are going to get a uh, dark fire ring from him go ahead and equip that and um once you equip that follow where i go so with the dark fire ring it actually makes your attack steal plus twelve thousand five hundred damage so this is pretty useful um for the early game so essentially you just want to farm this guy until you're level 10,000. He is really easy to be and you can get level 10,000 really easily by killing him. Um, you can one shot him with the dark fire ring. So yeah, just keep doing that until you're level 10,000. Okay, now that you're level 10,000, you should rebirth and do exactly what I told you to do to get up to level 10,000 again now once you're level 10,000 follow where i go okay so now you should be in front of the legendary store and what you're going to want to buy is this gold leggings and gold chest plate as well as forest fighter now you're going to be like oh this is so much money so I'm going to show you a really easy way to get money fast. 100 million plus gold per kill. So follow where I go. So you're going to see a really big boss up here. He literally cannot hit you. So just stand at his feet. And uh, you could turn on an auto clicker and go AFK if you want to. And um, just kill him. A bunch of times i'd say until you're like four billion gold a little bit less maybe um so yeah once you have enough money you're gonna want to go back to the legendary store and purchase the gold leggings gold chest plate and forest fighter and go ahead and equip all of those okay um next thing you're gonna want to do is follow me you're going to want to kill Clan Dawn until you get gold brawlers. So anyway, he drops the gold brawlers. Go ahead and equip those. Okay, you're going to want to go ahead and head over to the Rebirth 3 area. So, uh, essentially what you want to do here is you're going to kill the infantry of Valkyrie until you are level 20,000. You could do lower, like 15k if you wanted to, but you might die from the next NPC we're going to be fighting. So go ahead and kill that NPC a bunch of times until you're level 20k. And now follow where I go. This is the next NPC we're going to fight, and you're going to want to fight them until you are level 50,000. You'll notice that they do quite a bit of damage, but you have life steal from the Oni shield, so um, you'll instantly get your health back, and you punch really fast with the gold brawlers. Now, uh, one more thing I want to show you. Once you hit level 50,000, you're going to want to get this new ring that you're going to replace with the dark fire ring. Don't delete the dark fire ring since you are going to be using that later, like once you rebirth. Um, so. Uh, follow where I go. Okay, so you're going to want to head to the Mines of Stalman. Now just follow where I go. Okay, so once you're at the end here at the Guardian of Hatred, you're going to want to kill him until you get the Life Drinker Ring. And once you get that, you're going to want to head over to it and equip it. It's not too rare and it gives you lifesteal and healing power. So 
by level 50k you should be doing way more than enough damage to actually justify using the dark fire ring so go ahead and kill this boss until you get the um the life drinker ring okay so you're gonna want to head back to the rebirth 3 area and follow where i go so once you're here you're gonna see clockwork the judge of time and you're gonna want to kill this guy until you are level 100,000. he's gonna do a bunch of damage but your life steal is gonna save you from dying you might notice that you're getting really low but it's okay don't worry you're gonna survive All right, once you're level 100,000, you're gonna wanna go ahead and rebirth and then do everything I told you to do um, to get to that level. Um, so one thing I'm going to tell you is don't go through all of these NPCs. Go ahead and equip the dark fire ring. Go back to the rebirth two area and fly up to that goblin that we killed previously and kill him until you're level 10,000. With the dark fire ring, you're going to be able to one shot him. So you could skip the level zero to level 1,000 really easily just by going there and killing the um, goblin. Go back to Rebirth 3, get back to level 100,000, and follow where I go. Okay, so now you're in the Rebirth 4 area. Essentially, what you're going to want to do is you'll see these two NPCs here. You may die a couple of times, but essentially you're going to want to group those two up and kill them. So if you're close enough to this bow and arrow guy, his arrows actually won't hit you. So that's a really good tip. Try to get as close as him as possible, but make sure you're actually hitting both of them. Um, one more thing I do want to tell you is you should go back here to the Rebirth 3 area. And kill these infantry of Valkyrie until you get the Valkyrie helm. I should have told you that earlier because it's actually a, a better helmet than the current one you have on. So once you get that, go ahead and equip it and farm these guys, group them up and kill them until you are level 400,000. One more thing is you can actually get Empyrean uh, ringlet by killing this NPC here. Now, this is a way better ringlet than the current one, and it's not that rare to get. So go ahead and equip that. So, once you are level 400,000 from killing these two guys, follow where I go. You'll notice these three NPCs standing directly in front of these three. So, essentially what you're going to want to do is group them up and kill them until you are level 1 million. You won't actually die since your lifesteal will save you from these guys killing you. So yeah, you're going to want to do that until you're level 1 million. So once you're level 1 million, uh, you're going to follow where I go. So at level 1 million, you could either group up these two NPCs and kill them until you're level 3 million. Or you could use this build I'm about to show you and kill the boss. For the gun of the build, you're going to want to use Captain's Flintlock. For the armor of the build, you're going to want to use Vilethorn Leggings and Vilethorn Chestplate. You can get these uh, Vilethorn Armor from farming these guys. For the shield, you're going to want to use Darkwing Shield. You can get this from the Mines Shop in the Rebirth one. Next, you're going to want to use Charred Fang. I showed you how to get this earlier by defeating the snake in the mines in Rebirth 1. Finally, you're going to want to use Holy Charm. You can get this from the Sky Shop. It costs 10 trillion. Or you could get it from the Rebirth 5 area. So it is pretty difficult to obtain. 
I forgot to mention that once you're level 1 million, you should rebirth and then get back up to 1 million before doing this because, well, 1 million is the max level for uh, rebirth 4. So with this build, you're going to want to go ahead and notice that you can actually hold down left click and it'll just spam these or you could auto click to spam it even faster. And uh, you're just going to want to try to stay as far as you can and kill the boss. Now, you're going to want to kill that boss until you're level 3 million, as I mentioned previously. Make sure to avoid all of his attacks as they do a bunch of damage, especially the red circles that appear on the ground that drops a boulder. That actually does one-shot you, so be careful to avoid that. Stay as far away from the boss as you possibly can, and uh, get level 3 million. Once you're level 3 million, there's a new build that you're actually going to need. So for all of this stuff, you can search up how to get it on the wiki. I will leave the wiki link in the description. Um, yeah, the weapon you're going to need for this build is Ocean's Tremor. A piece of armor you're going to need is Executioner's Mask. For the armor, you're going to need Vilethorn Chestplate and Vilethorn Leggings. For the shield, you're going to want Ochera's Shield, which you can purchase from the Depths Shop. I will show you where the Depths Shop is after I finish this build. You're also going to be wanting Charred Fang and Holy Charm. This is the build that you're going to be needing. Also, equip your ringlet. Um, that's common sense. It's really useful. Now follow where I go. Really quick, I'm going to show you where the shop is. Once you drop down here, you'll see Kronos, the Flood of Oblivion. You're going to want to go behind him. Into this little portal thing. And here you go. You'll have the Depth Store where you can purchase Ochoa's Shield for 2 trillion and these pieces of armor. Now, follow me. All right, now you're level 3 million or higher, and you're going to want to kill this guy until you're level 10 million. So after killing him a bunch of times, you should reach level 10 million. And once you get level 10 million, you're going to want to go ahead and rebirth and get back to level 10 million. Another thing I should mention is with this mini boss, you should stand right, in, right inside of him. Essentially, when you're inside of him, he can't hit you. Well, he can hit you, but a lot of his moves actually don't hit you because of his hitbox. So that's really useful to stand directly inside of him. So you should be reverse 6 now, and you would have level 10 million. So now you're going to need a separate build. You'll notice that when you open your inventory, there's a change loadout button. Basically, you could have multiple loadouts. Um, you could only have two if you have a game pass. You can have four. Essentially, you're going to want to create this build that I'm about to tell you. For the armor, you're going to want Atlantean chestplate and Atlantean leggings. You're going to want to equip Phantom Soul for the extra speed. You're going to want Artemis Bow for the extra flight time. You're going to want Valkyrie Helm for the extra flight time and ascend speed. You're going to want Empyrean Ringlet or higher, but the Pixie Ringlet is much more difficult to obtain. You're going to want to equip Moon Ring for the extra jump height, as well as Hawk Shield for the extra speed. So you should have all those, not the loadout I have right now. I just have different armor and a cape. If you have VIP, definitely equip the cape because you get more jump height and speed, but that is a game pass. So once you have this build, follow where I go. Fly right up to this little platform here near these NPCs. And you're going to want to fly up to this platform that is practically invisible, but you will be able to see it from down there. Now, your build that I just told you should be able to get you here. Now, that is prime. That is 
a flight build only a flight build now you're going to want to switch back to your fighting build so you should have two loadouts a flight loadout and a grinding loadout so once you have your grinding loadout you're going to want to fight this boss until you are level 100 million which is the next rebirth you're going to be getting quite a bit of money i think he drops about 1 trillion per kill and he gives you a decent amount of levels you don't have to fight this guy until 1 million there are other ways but personally this is what i found to be the fastest way so definitely do that also you're gonna want to pick up his armor if he drops it because his armor is actually really useful in the later rebirths you'll get the shining chest plate and the shining leggings as well as his helmet known as chrono bonum um this is going to be used in the next build all of those three items so make sure you try to get that um as soon as possible all right so you're going to want to rebirth once you're 100 million and then get back to level 100 million since you farmed that boss you should have gotten all his drops unless you're super 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 unlucky however i'm going to tell you a new fighting build now one thing I should mention is if you do get the shining chest plate and leggings and chrono bonum, you should use this build while you are getting from 10 million to 100 million because this build is definitely going to help you. For the weapon of this build, you're going to want Ocean's Tremor. If you can, try to get at least 180 attack speed, I'd say. Preferably the higher the better, obviously. For the shield, you're going to want Ocherous Shield. For the armor, you're going to want Shining Chestplate, as well as Shining Leggings. For the hat, you're going to want Chrono Bonum. You're going to want Charred Fang. And you're also going to want Aquarian Charm. If you don't know how to get all these items, just look on the wiki. Link is in description. Uh, there will be like a little tab to find ranged weapons, melee weapons, magic weapons, armor and accessories, etc. So, once you've hit level 100 million and you have this build, follow where I go. You're going to want to go into this portal. To actually unlock this portal, you're going to have to defeat different bosses around the depths. So just kill every boss, enter every portal that you can enter, kill the boss and it'll drop the qubit so uh get the qubit and then you should unlock portals so for this specific one you're gonna need cleos i believe which is that portal i think now to unlock that portal you're gonna need to defeat a different boss and a different boss you know it, so on the bosses are really easy to find this is just one example of a boss um the first boss i believe you have to fight is in there um you could just you'll know what what the boss is for each portal because they're pretty you know big they're the highest level there and um yeah so just enter this portal so once you're here you're going to want to group up these three npcs and kill them until you're level 250 million Once you're level 250 million, follow where I go. You're going to want to group up these three NPCs and kill them until you're level 400 million. You could also kill them until you're 500 million. If you notice that you're struggling with the next NPCs, I'd come back here and do that until you're 500 million. Um, so yeah, once you're either 400 to 500 million, follow where I'm going. Alright, so, what you're going to do here is you're going to notice the boss there and the two NPCs there. You're going to want to group up these NPCs and kill them until you're level 1 billion. I know 1 billion sounds like a lot, but these NPCs actually give a lot of XP, and it'll probably take you like 10 minutes, maybe less. So, once you're 1 billion, you're going to want to rebirth and uh, get back to level 1 billion. So, once you get to level 1 billion, you would have already rebirthed. And now you should be about rebirth 9, I believe. And you're going to want to keep killing these two NPCs until you're level 5 billion. 
now once you're level 5 billion you're gonna want to group up all these npcs or just kill the boss alone up to you and um yeah you're just gonna kill the boss now you're gonna want to do that until you're level 10 billion once you hit level 10 billion you're gonna want to go ahead and rebirth once again and then get back to level 10 billion by doing all that stuff i showed you now i want to stop here really quick just to explain something you could do that could possibly make this grind a lot easier so for example let's say i hit level 10 billion you could go you could go to the hub of rebirth make your way over here to the ancestral altar what this does is essentially you could store levels so let's say i'm 10 billion um i could store 5 billion levels um and then i'll go back to level 5 billion if you're at 10 billion obviously and then you could grind back up to 10 billion then you could do your rebirth and once you rebirth you're obviously level one so you come back to this altar and you're gonna type in like five billion and you're gonna want to retrieve it uh since you stored five billion you could retrieve it so this could essentially be an easier way of obtaining levels since from five billion to ten billion it's really easy so instead of doing all that stuff again you could do that I personally didn't do this because I didn't find out about it until later, but you could do this to make your grind way, way easier. I should have mentioned this earlier, that's my bad, but anyway, I'm showing you this now, so use that to your advantage. So you're going to be needing a new set that will help you obtain levels much faster. The weapon for this set is Cursed Blade. The shield is Ochorus Shield. The armor is Shining Chestplate and Shining Leggings. The helmet is Nightmare, which you actually get from killing this boss. It's not too rare. I believe it's 5% maybe. You're going to want to equip Charred Fang. As well as Holy Charm. Now you should have this build and level 10 billion. And you're going to follow where I go. So now you're going to see three sages lined up and you're going to want to farm these guys until 100 billion, which is the max level for this current rebirth. So that's fairly easy. They give you a decent amount of levels and this is who you're going to farm until level 100 billion. Alright guys, so now you're level 100 billion and you should have rebirthed, so now you will be uh, rebirth 10, I believe. So I wanted to keep this video semi-short because it's kind of a long time to be recording this and it definitely takes a while and I'm trying to be as helpful as possible. So what I'm going to do is separate these videos 0 to 9 and... Uh, the next video, which I will release probably tomorrow, um, will be Rebirth 10 to 14, which is the final Rebirth for this current update. If any other update comes out, I will of course make a video on the best builds and the best way to grind to the new Max Rebirth. So, um, I'm gonna head out. I'll make a video tomorrow to help you guys from Rebirth 10 to 14. Peace.